Hello everybody, welcome to a new Arkham Horror the Card Game playthrough. Today I am joined by Nathan. Who, Hello. Him and I have played the um, Night of the Zealot together ages ago. And he, all, he had a good time, so I figured why not? What, we should play a full cycle. So we're playing the Dunwich Legacy. Uh, Nathan is our lead investigator. He's playing Ursula Downs. And I am Nathaniel Cho. This is my first time playing this investigator, and I'm excited to try him out. Nathan chose that we're going to do the House Always Wins first, so let me read the agenda. So, you have entered the Clover Club Casino in search of Dr. Morgan. The club is bustling at this late hour, filled with patrons looking to relax and drink or make it big. You don't appear to be in much danger. Each criminal enemy gains aloof, and then forced, if an investigator deals damage to a criminal enemy, we immediately advance. Beginner's luck. This is the act. This is our goal. You need to find Dr. Morgan. The club is packed. Perhaps somebody knows where he is. As a reaction, when you reveal a chaos token, you may treat that token as if it were any other token in the chaos bag. If you do, remember that you have cheated. Group limit once per round. Objective. When we, were, uh, when we have collected the requisite number of clues, we must immediately spend them in advance. So that is eight clues. We need to get eight clues, and then we complete this um, act. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go first because my turn is pretty simple. I'm going to play my brother, Randall Cho. He's concerned Ooh. about me because I keep getting punched in the face. Uh, after he centers play, I'm going to search my deck for a weapon asset, which are going to be my boxing gloves. And I get to immediately play them paying its cost. So I will spend the three to get my boxing gloves on. Um, action two. Um, I can't really investigate. I'd investigate two to two, but there's no punishment for it. But I'm going to head into the club, I think. So action um, two, we're going to head into the club. We are in the lounge. While it, is, while it is Act 1, Clover Club Lounge gains is an action. Discard an ally asset from your hand to gain two clo clues from the token pool. Limit once per game. Oh. Uh, uh, my second action, my third action, sorry, we're going to go to the card room. Which is, while it is Act 1, Clover Club card room gains uh, as an action. Spend two resources, reveal a random chaos token. If it's the Elder Sign, I gain two clues and two resources. If it's an even number, I gain two clues. If it's an odd number or a bad symbol, nothing happens. It's time to gamble. Those are my three actions, Nathan. You may take yours here. Cool. I think I just resign. I think we're done. <laughs> that's, we always, that's what Brennan and I always say. It's just, yeah. God damn it, fuck. First action, get the heck out of here. Um... I mean, I might as well just investigate. I'm here. There's there's a clue. Yeah, you also could, uh, if you have a Dr. Milan in your hand, you could play him first to get the resources back from investigating. True. I was thinking of getting, once the pit bosses move, moving into there and getting rid of them so I can get two clues. That's also a potential option. I think having him out will be a better for you in the long run. Okay. Because you also have three other allies in your deck you can sell That's off true. to the mob. <laughs> hey, mob, here you go. So he costs four. Uh, four. Of these crate assets. barrels you have over here. These guys. Cool. And now I'll investigate. Nice. So you have four plus one. So five versus the game's two. And where, how do I do that? Uh, how do you do the test? Uh, yeah. You click on this. Oh, you did the rolling. Yeah. Just click it once? Or? Yeah, just click it once and a token will come out. F five minus three equals two, so you succeed, so you gain a clue. Cool, 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 cool. And you also trigger Dr. Milan, so you also gain a resource. And then I... Oh my gosh, there we go. How do you tap? Uh, Q or E. Right. And then uh, you just click on this again to put it back. Right. Nope. All right, you have one action left. Cool, 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 cool. I think I will preemptively just move into here. You also could grab the last clue on this location, because there were two There's there. another clue on that location. Yeah. I will do that. That's probably smarter. It's yours. Hell yeah. 
All right, first turn, we're 25% the way to our goal. That's good. Uh, now we go to the enemy phase. So the Clover Club pit boss comes out here because he hears someone sucking up all the clues. So then around. Uh, we also then each, this is also when an enemy would attack us if we were engaged with an enemy. And we each get to gain a resource and draw a card. Dude, I am so ready for the second half of this adventure. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, when I can start fighting people, I'm ready to start fighting people. Um, all right, so Doom advances. We're at the Mythos phase, so Doom advances first. Um, we check the threshold. There's no threshold. We haven't hit it, which is four. Uh, and then you get to, um, you draw the first encounter card for the turn. So that's just you click on this guy. A twist of fate. Revelation. Reveal a random token from the chaos bag. Uh, if you reveal a uh, star symbol or a positive number, nothing happens. If you reveal any other number, take one damage. If you reveal a sign, uh, take two horror. Cool, so you just click on the, this to draw a token. Oh, you're fine. Hell yeah. And then you just click discard to discard it. All right, my evil card is... Uh, the, oh, I sh don't think I shuffled this deck. Let me, uh... <laughs> let me shuffle. <laughs> All right, take two. What do we got? Swarm of rats. Oh, I can kill you. No problem. <laughs> oh, that seems... Seems easy. Okay, uh, I'll go first. All right. I will um, attack these rats at six to one. That is enough to kill them. Uh, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> Boom! Just punch them. Uh, I'll then uh, exhaust... Uh, after I defeat an enemy, exhaust boxing gloves. i got to look at the top six cards of my deck for a spirit card. Um, a spirit event and add it to my hand and I shuffle my deck. So let's see what we got. We got two spirits. I think we want this one. I think... Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Excuse me, I wanted that whole hand. So that was action one. Action two, I'll gain a resource, and then I'll gamble on my location for action three. So I'll spend two uh, resources and reveal a random token. Let's go, Elder Sign. It's a minus four. That is an even number, technically, so I'll gain two uh, clue tokens. Uh, also, for, uh, for reference, Nathan, our Chaos Token bag has a plus one, two zeros, three minus ones, two minus twos, a minus three, a minus four, two skulls, a cultist, a uh, cultist symbol, uh, and then the Elder Sign, which is the auto pass, or the, the good chit, and then the red, which is the auto fail. Um, just for your reference. He also should be standing up, sorry. He exhausts at, at, at the beginning of the upkeep phase. Uh, Nathan, it's your turn. Nothing go happens when I go into the bar. Oh, it's it's an unrevealed location, so you don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So then I'm going to go into the bar. Cool. Oh. Okay. Apparently, I'm going to go underneath the bar, um, and uh, I play this because it's fast. Uh, so there, there's actually no clues on locations right now. Just kidding. So it won't have an effect. Don't, well, don't worry, do it, in, in the second half, when things get when we're not gambling anymore, there will be clues for you. Cool. Uh, so that was two actions. Uh, yeah, because you where were you? Were you here? I was here one, one two. two. Cool. Yeah, so you have one action left. Spend two resources, gain two clues from the token pool, and draw two cards. That seems nice. But I'll remember that you have had a drink. Limit once per game. Okay, well, hey. Know your limit, stick within it cool so you gain two, two clues. clues 
We are 75% of the way there. You have had a drink. And I and get two You drop cards. two cards. Is there a hand max? Eight. Thank you. All right, are you good? Uh, yes. All right, cool. The Clover Club Pit Boss comes down here. Uh, upkeep phase, so unexhaust any cards you have, ready any cards, gain a resource, and draw a card. Ooh, I got my weakness. My maximum hand size is five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is reduced by five, so it's three. Okay, we got to fix that. All right, what do we get rid of? Probably you. I want to keep my things that fight. I guess you should go, and then you should go. Hmm, this is interesting. Uh, honestly, this one can go for right now. I'll take uh, this instead. The resources are going to be hard. We have to spend a gambling. Okay, um, Mythos phase. This ticks over to two. Uh, you draw your evil card. Dun, dun. Let's see dun, what we've got. F, thank you. Oh. Something in the drinks. That's flavorful. So uh, surge. Uh, surge means you'll draw and resolve another card after this. Okay. Each player who has had a drink loses an action. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to flip that. Nice. Uh, and then just draw another one. Oh, just discard it first. Twist of Fate. Uh, twist of Fate. Reveal a random token from the end of the same card as the last time. Take one damage. Nice. Uh, allies also have, uh, you might not remember, they have Ow. stats. They, they can take damage and horror for you as well. Yeah, I'd just rather, you know, not kill him immediately. That's the right choice. <laughs> a swarm of rats, you say? Oh, man. All right, well, I, my turn's going to be really easy. I'll be able to gamble next turn. We're actually doing pretty good. And as long as you just don't come to my location, Nathan, so the Clover Club boss doesn't come here, that's fine. Because I'm going to try gambling next turn. Oh, sh wait, wait, let's use this. Fight! Uh, I'm going to fight this guy and gain two resources. So we're up six to one. I'll defeat him. See you later. Um, and then I will use my boxing gloves to look at the top six cards and grab a spirit event. That's an event. Oh, probably you're really good. Get out of here, Tommy Malloy. No one likes you. Honestly, it's probably you. Like, maybe in a perfect world, we'll just be able to gamble no problem next turn. Uh, and then I will spend two actions to get rid of this drawing the sign. You're up. All right. I'm kind of at a loss for what to do. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. This The, the beginning of this one's a little bit weird. You could just gain resources. You could, uh, if you have any uh, assets in your hand that you can play, you can kind of, like, build your kit out a bit, right? Uh, gaining resources is oh. also always fine, right? Oh, so, like, assets don't disappear? Yeah, right assets are, like, a permanent that you have in play. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Cool, 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 then. Um, I have no assets I can play. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, I'll just, I'll just gain some resources. Yeah, yeah. You have two actions. So I can gain two resources? Yeah. That's nope. good, because we'll have to go, like, if I don't succeed in gambling, maybe you will. And you, That might, action does yeah. refresh, yeah. Okay. All right, enemy phase. The club boss is going to come over here. Hey, Mr. Pit Boss, how are you? Then we gain cards and resources. We are at three of four doom, and uh, Nathan, what's your evil card? Uh, how many cards do I get? Just up, back up to five, right? Is how it works? No, 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 you just draw one. Just draw a card. Yeah, oh. you just it's you gain a resource and draw ah! a card. <laughs> Field works on the bottom. All right. What's my card? Oh, some rats. Okay, I can come fight them. Uh, and then my evil card is 
Arousing suspicions. Place one doom on each criminal criminal enemy at your location. If no doom was placed, I lose two resources. All right. I'm going to start by gambling, spending two of my resources. Holy crap. Nice. That's fantastic. So I gain two That's, resources yeah. and two clues. So we're at eight. Yeah, so we must immediately spend them so we lose all of our clues. All right. Uh, after speaking to a number of the gamblers and servers, it seems as though Dr. Morgan had, has had quite the run lately. Instead of cashing out with his winnings, he was convinced to double down. He was last seen entering the guarded hall near the back of the entrance. Put the set-aside darkened hall into play. Uh, and then discard cards from the top of the encounter deck. So darkened hall, I believe, is connected to the room I'm in. Okay. Uh, and then discard criminal uh, until we get a criminal enemy. There he is, right here, having a good time. So he still has aloof, but they all are going to all lose aloof this turn, just for your reference. Okay. Uh, my action two, we're going to move up here, and I'm going to punch these rats and hopefully not miss, because if I miss, I punch you. Ooh. Six to one. Not big on that. I kill the rats. Okay. So you can discard them. I'm pretty good on that. I like that. Nope, I sorry. will then uh, exhaust my boxing gloves. I'll just say, everybody watching at home, these rats are great for punching with my boxing gloves. And I get a spirit event, which is the only choice I have is this one. Ooh, was I supposed to put uh, a weakness out immediately? Yes, if you draw a weakness, you put it into play. Obsessive. What's that one do? Oh, so then when your turn begins, you'll discard a card at random yeah. from your hand. Yeah. Uh, that's it for me, Nathan, but those rats are done, so you're in the clear. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, do, do, do. See you later, that card. Damn. All right. Rest in peace. So in this one, Nathan, it just takes two actions to get rid of. Oh, okay. That's... Okay. Uh, uh, I was going to do something. Right. Uh, I was going to spend two of these guys to out field work where do i is that go it can go, go over here because it doesn't have a slot cool put out field work <clears throat> nice yeah uh and then i'll spend the last two actions to get rid of obsessive sweet okay i have to look at some rules which is always strange when this happens but it happens to everybody let me just quickly look at prey Next page, Prey. Cool, all right, so this guy's going to engage you. Cool. But I'll, I'll deal with him. Him and I can dance for a bit. Uh, enemy phase, this guy just stays here. Uh, cards ready and we get cards and resources as well. One card and one resource. Let's go, baby. Boop, thank you. Nice. All right, four, we advance. What do we got here? Your question has drawn the attention of several men hired thugs by the look of them. Francis doesn't want to be bothered, one of them says. We suggest you leave the premises before we force you to leave. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the deck. Uh, if the players have completed extracurricular activity, uh, we have not, so we advance to 2A, which is underground muscle. So, three doom. Most of the other patrons seem oblivious to the mobsters and goons closing in around you, but you recognize this for what it really is. You're about to get roughed up. So this guy engages you. That's exciting. And uh, then we go to uh, Mythos, to Evil Card, starting with you. All right. Something in the drink. I lose another action. Dang. 
Oh my god. There we go. And then a surge, so you draw another card. Right. Hunted down. There are no uh, unengaged criminal enemies in play. Hunted down gains surge. If there are one or more unengaged criminal enemies in play, each one of them moves one location toward you. Each criminal bleh, each criminal enemy that engages you as a result of this uh, effect makes an immediate attack. Cool. So this guy just moved in from the darkened hall to the card room. Not bad. Cool. Uh, my evil card is... Uh, place one doom on each criminal enemy at your location. All right. How much health does this guy have? He is toast, like a Christmas ghost. Okay. Well, this is just the thing we do here, isn't it? Uh, I will engage this man. Hello? I will then Monster Slayer, because the most scariest monster of all is man. So Ooh. fight. This attack deals plus one damage. <laughs> We're six to three. Minus two is enough to win. Uh, so I will deal three damage in total. One from, the, a two from this card, and then an additional from my ability. When you deal damage to an enemy by an event or a fight ability on event, I deal one additional dam damage limit once per phase. So he'll take huh. three damage. Nice. Um, for my last action, I'll punch him just normally at six to three. He is dead. Dude. Nathaniel Cho beefy. seems strong. Uh, so that guy has victory, which means we get a victory point for our experience at the end of the round. At the end of the Go scenario. Um, I will also then use my boxing gloves, because why not, right? That's why we're here. If anyone watching knows a better way to search your deck, please let me know. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Seems like a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, I also have another trigger as well that I want to resolve. Uh, Spirit. I think we're going to choose... Get over here! And then I will play this Glory. Fast play after you defeat an enemy. Draw two cards. All right, Nathan, you're up. All right, I'm gonna spend one, two, three. No, nope. one, two, three. To put on a nice piece of jewelry. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> um. What should I do? Uh, if you move in here, this more. guy will engage you. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I, I can go in and kill him next me. turn. Okay. Um, I'll just gain a resource. Nice. All right. Cool. Uh, of That's note, it. though, uh, one thing, Nathan, oh. just to be aware, when you do have three actions, your mm -hmm. foot, for because you can also evade enemies, your foot is very high, just for reference as well. Oh, how do you how do you evade? I assume just roll to evade? Yeah, exactly. Or All tests are the same. Yeah. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, enemy phase. This guy does not have Hunter, so he just stays here. Uh, cards and resources, though. What are you doing here? I can't have four boxing gloves. That's crazy. <laughs> Too many boxing gloves. All right, Nathan, what's your evil card? Uh, my evil card is Cursed Luck. Revelation, put Cursed Luck into play in my threat area. Uh, you get minus one skill value during tests. Forced after you succeed on a, add a skill test by one or more, discard it. Cool. That I got seem awful. Arousing Suspicions. I'll lose two resources. All right, I'll go first. I'll move in here. This guy will engage me. I have, so in my upgrade plan, I have mm -hmm. such an exciting thing planned where I'm basically going to be like your personal bodyguard. It's going to be a good Ooh. time. Uh, we're just going to punch this guy normally. I don't think he's worth the resources. So six to two. He'll take one damage. He'll take two damage. He is dead. I will use my boxing gloves, but I honestly think one, two, three. Actually, I won't use my boxing gloves because we have eight cards in our hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're good to go, Nathan. Cool. Uh, I'm uh, going to move one and move two. All right, Darken Hall. When you enter the Darken Hall, put the three set aside back hall doorways into play. Ooh. Let me get some movement tokens. Excuse me? 
And you have one action left. I do. Oh, uh, Nathan, I never read this, the I, act. Dr. Morgan is somewhere oh. in the private section. We only investigators in the VIP area may spend the requisite number of clues, which is uh, four. Uh, and I'm assuming we're currently in the VIP area. No, we are looking for the VIP area. That also makes sense. It's going to be one of these um, rooms. Well, I'm going to move into one of these rooms. Yeah. Uh, let's just hang it. Let's go down here. The VIP area. Heck yeah, I'm going to play a vantage point. Nice. Um, sorry, one second as well. Let me just look at this one. Yeah, you can move it yeah, to, down to two. Good idea. Yeah. Cool. So, would you like to investigate? I can't. That was all three turns. No, but your ability no, after you move. No, because my ability, yes, that's right. I would love to investigate. And don't forget, you can also activate field work to get plus yes. two to this value as well. Might as well. No reason not to. Cool, so that gets discarded. Uh, um, so, for reference, uh, just for you know, for your skill test, you had four, five, four plus, six, uh, yeah. seven... Minus one, so you had six versus two, because this is reduced by one. So you yeah. succeed by one, uh, you succeed by two, so you Which get a discard curse luck and gain a clue. And I'm going to yep. exhaust him. Nice. And grab that. Beautiful. And then this is gone. All right, uh, cards and resources. Heck yeah. Burp. Nope. You need to be real precise on that. There we go. Sweet. Okay, bong. Evil card starting with you, Nathan. All right. Oh, this is good what do we got? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hunted down again. Uh, if there are no unengaged criminal enemies in play, uh, hunted down gain surge. Cool. So, because it has no effect, it'll just gain surge. Uh, twist of fate. Reveal a random token from the chaos. Dude. Uh, Fate's got nothing on you. Other number, take one damage. No, it's a positive number. So nothing happens. Oh, I thought it was any number. No, if you reveal an Elder Sign or a positive number, nothing happens. Uh, if you reveal any other number, take one damage. Yeah, but you have a plus one that's positive. Oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I thought that was minus one. From, from without zooming in, it looks like a minus. Mm -hmm. Cool. My evil card is a swarm of rats, you say. These rats really like you. They do, but they're easy to kill. Um, okay. I will punch these rats. Just normally, I suppose. <laughs> Six to one. They are dead. I will not use my boxing gloves because my hand is full. I will then move to one of these locations... Back alley. All right, Nathan, you should come grab these clues. That's the plan. Um, that is me. I could actually probably also investigate here, to be honest. It's up, I'm only up one, but still. All right. What do you got, Nathan? Uh, well, I'm going to investigate here. Cool. You're at five to three. I am. That's a fail. Heck yeah. Um, I'm going to investigate again. Sounds good. That clue's yours. Heck yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to make my way to you. Cool. Uh, cards and resources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um... You can go. I think we're fine. All right, Nathan. Boom. We are advancing the mythos, the agenda. We got... You hear a crash from somewhere outside and screams of pain in the lounge. A terrible monstrosity smashes through the entrance of the club, crushing the stairwell and knocking over gangsters and patrons alike. Spawn a random enemy from the set-aside hideous abominations. Where do we spawn him? At the Clover Club Lounge. Not the conglomeration of spheres. I wish we had the other one who has victory on him. <laughs> well, what can you do? Um, 
Shuffle the rest of that encounter set and the Striking Fear encounter set into the Mythos, into the encounter deck. And the encounter discard pile, okay. Uh, move all investigators and uh, unengaged enemies from La Bella Luna to the Clover Club Lounge. Remove La Bella Luna from the game. With the power of my delete key, anything is possible. We can't escape. It's not possible. Um, forced at the start of the enemy phase, discard each criminal enemy in the same location as an abomination enemy. All right. What's your evil card, Nathan? My evil card is... Swarm of Rats! Um, hmm. You know what, Nathan? Let me handle this. Okay. I'll take that card. Oh, cool. And then my evil card is... Something in the drinks. So you'll lose one action. All right. Second card is O'Banion's Thug. This is not the time, O'Banion's Thug. Do you not see what's going on here? <clears throat> okay. Well, honestly, I'm probably just gonna punch a bunch. <laughs> punch a bunch. I will punch the rats first, six to one. He's dead. I will use my boxing gloves. I don't know, honestly, how many spirits I have left, but we'll find out here. We got, that's a spirit. Yeah, that's the one exactly one I wanted. Whoa, nice try. No, oh, nice try part two. <laughs> uh, draw. Oh, slow down. Draw here. I'll play Monster Slayer to attack this guy. Uh, we're at six to four. Hmm, we don't want to miss this, do we? Actually, honestly, I'm just going to punch him twice. Punch one, one damage. Punch two, he's dead. <laughs> the punch a bunch, man. All right, Nathan, you're up. Mr. Punch a bunch. That's me, I punch a bunch. That was actually the name of my deck for this, punch a bunch. That's so funny. Uh, hey, how's it going? Hey. Uh... Would you like to investigate for free with your ability? I would love to. Would you like to increase your skill by two with your field work? Yes. Because I just moved there. So that's seven? Seven. Yep, seven to one. Minus three. If you succeed, gain three resources. So you'll gain four resources. That's crazy. That's insane. And the clue is yours. Clue for me. Also, uh... yes, three is correct. Cool. And you have uh, one action left as well. Nice. That two, right? Yep. Yep. Three cards. Beautiful. All right. Enemy phase. The conglomeration of spheres is looking for us. Uh, and then ready all your cards. Gain a resource and draw a card. Hey, it's Tommy Malloy. How's it going? When do I discard? Uh, at the end of the uh, upkeep phase. So now you would. Now. Okay. Eight. Cool. All right. Doom ticks up. You uh, draw your first evil card, Nathan. Sounds good. Rats. Rats. Cool. And I get cursed luck. All right. Well, let me go first. I'm going to punch those rats at five to one. The rats are dead, Nathan. Bless. I will then, I'll use my boxing gloves. Will I? No, I won't. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna punch Tommy twice at six to two. One, he'll take one damage. He'll take two damage. You're up. All right. Uh, for reference, this conglomeration of spheres is gonna be here next turn, so you probably wanna get this clue and get out of here. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. Uh, Gonna uh, get a clue. Nice. 
you have enough to advance the agenda in the VIP room as well. Cool, then I'm going to advance the agenda in the VIP room. Oh, that's down here. Just kidding, I'm going to go down here to advance the agenda <laughs> in the VIP room. All right, uh, spend your four clues. One, two, three, four. If the players have not completed extracurricular activity, you find Dr. Morgan gambling in one of the VIP rooms, but he appears to be playing cards with two unconscious bodies, his pupils dilated as though in a trance. He can't seem to stop laughing, smiling, and chatting with the other players. Put the set aside, Dr. Morgan. Uh, into play in the VIP area. So he Man, is... I'm glad we didn't do any extracurricular activities. It makes it a lot harder. Yeah, that's scary. Um, all in. With or without Dr. Morgan, you have to get out of here fast. Well, Dr. Morgan is not controlled by a player. Uh, you, he gains parlay, test brain three, to shake Dr. Morgan out of his days. If you succeed, place one clue from the token bank on him. If there are two clue, if there are four clues on Dr. Morgan, no, sorry, two clues. If there are two clues on Dr. Morgan, we take control of him. So we need to do two brain three tests on him. So I'm three for brain, but that's only when I move into a location. Two, two. Oh, That's not a treachery card, so that's not ideal. I have some ways I can help you when I'm in there. Um, okay. Do you have one action left, or are you done? Uh, you have... You have No, you're out of actions. You gained a clue, one, moved, moved. two, three. Cool, awesome. Uh, Tommy Malloy punches me for two damage. Um, I'm going to play Counterpunch! Fight. Six to one. Six to two, sorry. He will die. Get out of here, Tommy. No one likes you. I'll use my boxing gloves. Six. Oh, cool. I did way too much. Shovel, shovel, shovel. All right, uh, this guy moves here. Uh, and then it's the upkeep phase, so we gain cards and resources. Cool. I must discard a card. It will be... Probably this dodge. I don't need to dodge right now. Yeah, he, Dr. Milan stands up. Oh, yeah. I was... Oh, he's on his head! <laughs> All right, uh, evil card starting with you. All right. Thank you. Cursed luck, great. Uh, <laughs> I also fun. have cursed luck. Okay, well, let's have some fun. I'm gonna move in here and okay. engage this conglomeration of spheres. Sounds scary. I'm then gonna play one, two, punch. And I'm going to punch this ball of goo. <laughs> ball of spheres. So I get plus one for this attack. So I am at six because I would be at seven, six to one. I will deal two damage to this enemy. Uh, my curse luck is gone. Uh, I may then attack him again. I, deal pl I get plus two and deal plus one damage for this attack. So we are at six. Sorry, we're at eight to one. Minus two will deal two damage to this guy. For my last action... Honestly, bro, I think I'm just gonna, like, punch you. Do it. I think I might just try to finish him off, because then I can come help you next turn with Dr. Morgan. Punch. I don't have any way to make my head smarter. You have no symbols you can commit? I don't think so. Punch. He is dead. Because I don't, I don't have any symbols, do I? Uh, they should be brain symbols on the side of your card, underneath the cost. Oh, no. Oh, wait, yeah, I have Eureka, but that's only if it's successful. No, no, so right? the, the things on the side, you can commit mm -hmm. them to a test no matter what. Um, 
But then Eureka okay. has an effect if the test is successful. Uh, okay. Cool. So uh, of note, like, Nathan, the yep. tablet actually isn't in our bag. Um, so there is no the minus two if you fail discard three. So there's actually no negative symbol. Like there's no negative effect to these. So okay. testing it, there's no downside if you fail for this scenario. Right. Well, let's see. Gonna bring out Eureka. So now you're three all. Yep. Or that puts me to four. Yeah, but your curse lucks bring you down to three. Right, three. Uh, and then I'm going to spend one, one, two, three. Oh, I can't because I don't have the right symbol, right? Because she's the... She'd go there. Yeah, she would get rid of... Uh, but what you could do if you don't want to play her, mm -hmm. uh, you can just commit her for a brain test. Oh, I can? Okay. Yeah, because she has the brain symbol. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had to play her first. No, no. So whenever you commit a card, you don't play it. You just like okay. You just commit it. You just it uh, as a, you can commit any number, and you can even just like leave them like up here because they're gonna get discarded after the test. Okay. Um, so that puts me at four. Yeah, four. Sorry, to three. yeah, that puts me at four to three. I'm gonna do that one more time. Yeah, five to three. Because if you get rid of your curse luck, that's great. Do do do. You did it. I did it. So then your Eureka also will trigger as well. Yes, I'll just put these away for now. Uh, just a card? Uh, look it's at any... the top three cards of your deck and draw one of them. Oh, just choose any of them. Okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I should do... There really needs should be a better way to do this, shouldn't there? Yeah, but I understand. Like, it's a, it's a sandbox tool, not really like a... Yeah. And that was your first action, right? Yes. I'll just take all of these. Oh no, they go sorry, they get shoveled back into your deck. Ah. I knew that. Haha. <laughs> Alright, you have two actions left. Um cool. I'm going to shake hands with him. Nice. Another parlay. So this now it is three all. It needs to be two successes, correct? Correct, yeah. Alright, let's uh do 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 Alright, four to three. You're good. So you take control of him. Oh, sorry, I meant to grab his clue. You take control of him, which means he does get rid of Dr. Milan Christopher. That's fine. He is our objective, He's a bit after more all. important. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll come up here and tell you what happened. Nice. Oh, look, you found Dr. Francis Morgan. That's great. Oh, yeah. Well, as a reward, we each gain a card and a resource, because there's no enemies in play. God damn it. Cool. Okay, uh, and then Mythos cards, starting with you, Nathan. I would love for one of us to draw the enemy that has victory on him. So let's cross our fingers. But please, thank you. He's frozen, frozen in fear. Frozen in fear. I'm, I'm also spooked. frozen in fear. I don't understand We're why. We're so spooked. Things are going great. Honestly, Nathan, I'm just moving up to back alley and resigning. Because we have our objective. We just oh, need to resign with him. Yeah, if each undefeated um, investigator has advanced, we resign. I, sorry, if, yeah. if each investigator resigned, we advance. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the same. Cool. So, one thing, Nathan, there, normally in a scenario, like there's one more location which had clues and victory. But when you um, advance, when you resign, if you have clues, it drops it on your location, which would have made it so that this victory. Um, we would have lost it. However, normally, okay. in a scenario, if things are going as well as they were, like we had four turns left, not including, yeah, yeah, four turns left, we could have, we probably want to sometimes, like, fish victory off locations. Okay. But we resigned successfully, so we will advance. Um, you escape the club, doing your best to look inconspicuous as several cars pull up near the street. 
a handful of grim-faced men and women exit, running toward the uh, restaurant's entrance to take control of the situation. One of them catches your eye, his hand on the grip of his 38, but thankfully he turns his attention back to the rest of the crew and follows them into the club. You breathe a sigh of relief. An investigator resigned with Dr. Francis Morgan. We get resolution two. Right? Resolution two. Uh, what in the world? Dr. Morgan finally breaks out of his daze and makes you make, and as you make your way to safety. You ask him what he remembers, and he sputters and shakes his head. It's all a haze, he explains, visibly exhausted. I was having the run of my life. Perhaps I had one too many shots, but those creatures. I haven't seen anything like, them, like that since. He trails off, and you can tell his mind is racing. His eyes widen with realization, and his face pales. I may not be in the best shape, but I'll help you with your investigation, whatever it takes. We note in our uh, campaign log that the O'Banion gang uh, has a bone to pick. Wrote that really far away. Um, in your campaign log, record that we rescued Dr. Francis Morgan. Good job, team. We did uh, it. Any one investigator may choose to add him to your deck. Let me look at him, because he's not for you. Because he's the combat one. Yeah, he does not look great for me. Dude, I'll take him. Sorry, brother, you just got replaced. Uh, if any player <laughs> cheated, which none of us did, um, we don't add the squid token to the chaos bag, and we earn victory X, which I believe is just three. Three victory. One, two, three. All righty roo. Enter. Three. Um, and then we proceed to scenario 1A, extracurricular activity. We have done it! We have completed our first scenario, <coughs> and honestly, it was a breeze. It was very easy. Thanks for watching, everybody at home. We'll see you guys in the next episode.